Hi students, in this class we are going to study the derivation of inductance of three phase transmission lines. Along with that we will study the transposition also. Now we consider this lawn sprinkler system. This area of the lawn gets watered from this particular sprinkler. But obviously these two sprinklers will also contribute certain water droplets to that area. So this particular area gets water from three lawn sprinklers. One is from that sprinkler itself and uh, certain water drop droplets from this particular lawn sprinkler and certain water droplets from this particular lawn sprinkler. The magnetic flux lines produced by the three phase transmission line is quite analogous to the lawn sprinkler system. We consider the conductor A. This conductor produces certain magnetic flux lines here. And this conductor will get certain flux lines from the conductor B. And it gets certain flux lines from the conductor C. So in effect the conductor A gets magnetic flux lines due to its own current from certain flux lines from the conductor B and a certain flux lines from the conductor C. So what is the total flux linkage of the conductor A? It's equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into the flux linkage due to its own current. Here the current is Ia into logarithm to the base E 1 by R dash plus what is the flux from the second conductor B? Here the current is Ib into logarithm to base E 1 by D1 is the distance plus flux from the third conductor. Current is IC into logarithm to base E. The distance is D3. This is the total flux linkage of conductor A. Similarly, we can find out the magnetic flux linkage of conductor B psi 2 and the flux linkage of conductor C psi C or psi 3. While deriving the inductance of three phase transmission line, it is, to, it is better to remember a couple of formulas in the logarithm. As you know, log d1 plus log d2 can be written as log d1 d2, then minus log 1 by d can be written as log d then 1 by x log d can be written as log x the root of d here i a is taken as the reference vector suppose i a is equal to i then i b can be written as I angle minus 120 degree. So this can be written as I into cos theta minus j sin theta which is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus j into root 3 by 2 and I c is equal to I into sorry I angle minus 240 degrees again it is i into cos theta plus j sin theta which is equal to here the theta equals minus 240 degrees this minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 
substituting these values of currents in psi 1 so psi 1 becomes psi 1 or you can write psi a because it is the flux linkage of the conductor a psi a is equal to 2 into 10 raised to, to minus 7 into i a is equal to i i b is equal to i into minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2 and i c is equal to this much from all the terms we can factor out i into the first term is log 1 by r dash the current i b that is minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 by 2 into log 1 by d1 plus ic is equal to i into i is factored out minus 1 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 log logarithm to the base e 1 by d3 from these two terms we can factor out minus 1 by 2 so this can be written as 2 into 10 raised to, to minus 7 i into log 1 by r dash minus 1 by 2 into log 1 by d1 plus log 1 by d3 plus from these two terms you can factor out root 3 by 2 plus j root 3 by 2 into log 1 by d3 minus log 1 by d1 so this is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 i into log 1 by r dash everything is with base e minus 1 by 2 it can be written as this is in the form of minus log 1 by d which is equal to log d that is log d1 d3 plus j root 3 by 2 into so this can be written as log d1 by d3 this is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 i into log 1 by r dash plus now this is 1 by x into log d form which is equal to log x the root of d here it is log square root of d1 d2 usually we do not write that to there plus j root 3 into again it is in the form of 1 by x log d which is equal to log x the root it is the second root but usually we do not write the 2 there d1 by d3 So this is d1 d3 and this is our psi a so what is the inductance la la is equal to psi a divided by i a 
or i a is same as i which is which is the reference vector so psi a divided by i so inductance can be written as 2 into 10 to minus 7 into current get cancelled into log 1 by r dash plus log or logarithm terms are with base e into d1 d3 plus j root 3 logarithm with base e root of d1 divided by d3 and its unit is henry per meter because we considered one meter length conductor through the inductance analysis we consider the conductor of length one meter so the unit will be henry per meter similarly we can find out write the equation of lb and lc so lb will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 log similarly lb is equal to log base e 1 by r dash logarithm with base e so here instead of d1 you can write d2 and d3 instead of d3 you can write d1 You write the values one step ahead in the cyclic order. So D1 becomes D2 and D3 becomes D1 plus D1 D2 D3. Instead of D1 you write D2. Instead of D2 you write D3 and D3 becomes D1. plus j root 3 into logarithm so d1 becomes d2 d3 becomes d1 and lc is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 log 1 by r dash plus log Again, one step ahead, D2 becomes D3, D1 becomes D2 plus J into root 3 log D2 becomes D3, D1 becomes D2. Again, its unit is Henry per meter. Here also it is Henry per meter. So these are the values of inductance LA, LB and LC. Actually, these values are different. Different conductors are getting different inductances. So, which will cause different voltage drops in the transmission line? So, we will use the transposition of the conductors. For the one third length, this is the position of conductors R, Y, and B. After the one third length, the positions are changed. Again, after the one third length, the positions are changed. So, all the conductors will assume all the three positions. In effect, the inductance of three lines will be the same. So, LA will be equal to LB, that will be equal to LC. So, the voltage drops in the conductor will be the same. So we call it transposition of the conductors in order to get the same inductance in all the three lines. To consider this transmission line, we can see how the conductors are transposed. This is our R line. 
when it reaches here you see this is transposed to this position now consider the second conductor after it reaches here this is transposed to this position now consider the third conductor when it reaches here this is transposed to this position this is the transposition of conductors in order to get the same inductance in all the three lines now these are the values of inductance la lb and lc once the conductors are transposed the average inductance will be equal to average inductance will be equal to la plus lb plus lc divided by 3 so this is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into 1 by 3 into in all the three terms we have log 1 by r dash so 3 and 3 will be getting cancelled log 1 by r dash plus 1 by 3 into log now if you consider these three terms log a plus log b plus log c which is equal to log abc that is d1 d3 d2 d1 then d3 d2 all are with base e all logarithmic terms are with base e plus j root 3 into now if you consider these three terms it is log root of d1 by d3 into d2 by d1 into d3 by d2 so these three terms will be cancelled so it becomes log 1 and you know log 1 is equal to 0 so this is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into log 1 by r dash this plus 1 by 3 log root of d1 square d2 square d3 square so the square root and the square will be cancelled 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 the log 1 by r dash plus 1 by 3 log d1 d2 d3 so now this is in the form of 1 by x into log d which is equal to log x to the root of d is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 the log 1 by r dash plus log x 
एक्सथ रूट आफ डि थर्ड रूट आफ डि वन डि टू डि थ्री दिस् दि आवरेज इंडक्ट सो ऑल दि थ्री लाइन विल बी गेटिंग दिस् मच ऑफ इंडक्ट इट्स यूनिट इस हेनरी पर् मीटर Now this can be written as two into ten raised to two minus seven logarithm to the base e order root of d one d two d three divided by r dash entry per meter. Suppose the three lines are equally displaced. That is, d one is equal to equal to d two is equal to d three. Then what is the average inductance? L average is equal to two into ten raised to minus seven into log, and this term becomes d cube. And this d cube under this one third will be getting cancelled, so it becomes log. D by R dash, and this is for equally displaced conductors. If the three conductors are placed at the corners of an equilateral triangle, then this will be the inductance. Again, its unit is Henry per meter. So this is our average inductance. 